Matthew Forstater, professor of economics at the University of Kansas City. So, in your experience, does austerity work in Europe? No, uh, austerity doesn't work anywhere. Uh, the austerity is uh, a solution to economic crisis which you could compare to uh, if a person is hungry, you tell them they should tighten their belt. And uh, that's not the solution. The solution is that they need food to eat. So the alternative to austerity, uh, which entails uh, cutting government spending, cutting the uh, deficit, uh, lowering wages, and all kinds of uh, policies that uh, result in exacerbating an economic crisis uh, rather than alleviating a crisis. The alternative is expansion, uh, economic growth, uh, higher wages, uh, better benefits, good working conditions. This is how you uh, generate uh, more tax revenue. This is how uh, you uh, reduce the uh, government spending in support for the unemployed by promoting job creation and uh, job creation is good for business as well because business needs to sell to someone so reducing wages just means lower demand and uh, additional economic crisis. So you are especially aware of uh, Argentina case do you see any analogies with European big countries? I do. Of course, you, you cannot uh, simply use a cookie cutter formula and apply it to cases all around the world, but there are some uh, disturbing similarities and those are, first, that Argentina was on a fixed exchange rate uh, for uh, the decade of the 1990s and uh, it is not exactly the same uh, in the case of the uh, countries of the uh, Eurozone, but uh, it is very similar. So uh, that is a recipe for disaster. And then you also have a situation uh, in which there's a, uh, at least a reasonable reason to consider a default on certain uh, kinds of uh, foreign debt, high unemployment, and uh, wages uh, need to be higher. Well, and do you see any way out of the current Eurozone crisis? Well, uh, there's not an easy way out. Of course, there are some things that can be done in the short term to lessen uh, human suffering. But in the longer term, there are some very important questions that need to be addressed. For example, is uh, an exit from the euro uh, a uh, possibility politically uh, and the launching of a, a new euro which would regain monetary sovereignty for Italy? Is that uh, politically feasible? Um, if not, then there are some other things that could be considered but that are equally uh, politically uh, challenging. One would be to uh, have a fiscal authority at the euro level uh, because one of the problems is that you have the monetary authority at the level of the euro and the fiscal authority at the level of the uh, nation states and so you could either bring the monetary sovereignty back to the nation states or you can move the fiscal authority up to the euro level have in effect a United States of Europe however uh, the uh, question of the political feasibility of uh, that uh, path is, is, is also uh, challenging. So thank you very much, Professor Forstater. Thank you very and, much. Uh, see you next time.